In this episode we're going to be fragging the torch corals and also giving you a little update on the two and a half year Red Sea Max Nano. You've guessed it, let's roll those titles. Two and a half years! I can't believe I'm saying that about this little Red Sea Max Nano. You can check out the entire journey of the tank on the channel in the previous videos. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what's been going on down on the reef. So here it is, the little Red Sea Max Nano. Two and a half years in, absolutely loving this. This is my first ever reef tank. It's really got me into the hobby and given me that, that buzz for owning a reef tank. I just love the science behind setting up and establishing your own coral reef tank in your house. This one I think is an absolutely perfect tank for uh, beginners like me, uh, or if you're li a little bit limited for space, uh, it fits really perfectly into, into any home. I've got it next to my home office. It works really, really well in there. But also, uh, in these harder times, maybe you're uh, just downsizing. It's a brilliant option if you are downsizing to this 75 litre or 20 gallon all-in-one. As you can see there, uh, the usual lighting settings, you can see that on the channel. Uh, it's all in one system, so it is really, really, really straightforward. Once you get it stable, once you get it running, yeah, you can be growing your own corals. Right, cheers. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Oh, right, let's get on with this episode. So, let me give you a little update on the reef. So we've had no new fish or corals in the last uh, three months, but up the top there, we've got our... Gorgonian, our photosynthetic Gorgonian. I ah, just love the movement, the flow, uh, the polyps you can see as well. Looks super, super nice. Uh, also at the top there, you've got our TNT Anacropora. It's one of the only uh, SPS corals in this reef. But I just love it. I love the height, I love the structure it gives, that dynamic shape, and that bright red appearance right at the top of the reef just looks super nice. Uh, the GSP growing on the back wall, that is, that's really taking shape now. Um, should have planted it a bit lower down, but uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Uh, the torch garden is thriving, uh, hence why we're going to do some fragging later in this video. If we drop down a little bit further, we've got a really nice, in the centre shot there, let's try and zoom in a little bit more, uh, that is a really nice uh, kind of micro Goniapora garden. Uh, it's green underneath and then red, vibrant red polyps. I really like that one. Looks super nice. Uh, that's the zoa garden. It's uh, always continually changing depending on which zoas are kind of taking over and dominating the uh, the garden. Uh, and there is the trachophilia absolutely swollen up there feeding at the moment. It's doing doing super well so I'm happy with that. Uh, there's the dragon soul, that's one of the torches we're going to be fragging today, uh, along with the Indo Gold and the Holy Grail and the Hellfire at the back. So all of these three here and this one here is the ones we're going to be fragging later in the video, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, one of my favourites at the moment is this Micromusa Holy Grail down here, uh, Acans. They look so nice and almost outgrown the tile. I originally bought them on. Uh, there's my fun gear plate from AAC. Really nice piece that I got at Love to Reef last year. And then last but not least, here is the Goni Garden. Uh, Goni Apora Garden uh, is absolutely thriving. The colours and the polyp extension is going really, really well. Uh, we dose, I don't know, it's about three or four drops of manganese every three or four days. Uh, but the clowns absolutely love the Goni Garden. You often see them in there lying lying on top of it or just swimming through it as you can see. On cue uh, they've made it their home. So yeah that's uh, that's what things are looking like at the moment. Uh, in the cave I'm wanting to get a sun coral. Uh, so Love to Reef is on the 20th of May. Uh, check it out. Tickets are still available but I'm going to, um, I'm purchasing a sun coral just for this deepest part of the cave in here and um, they are non-photosynthetic, so it's, it's perfect for those little dark spots. It'll add some lovely, lovely colour to that area as well. 
and I'm super excited to get my hands on that latest edition. But if there's anything you think I should get, uh, any corals you think I should purchase, any more fish that you think we should purchase, yeah, let me know in the comments. What's your recommendations? Uh, I'd love to know. But there's the uh, the, the, the tail spot blennies just popped out. And also, you're getting quite a few of them out here. Here's the purple firefish just hiding around the corner. Maybe she'll come out in the next few minutes. But there you go, guys. Uh, that's what it looks like so far. Everyone's out today on the reef. But you can see here the Raja Rampage has just been completely stung all on that right hand side and that's just due to the size of this dragon soul so it's time for a, for a trim you can see how healthy it is though looks absolutely brilliant uh, but yeah it's just been stinging that coral it's also been stinging a little bit of the Goniopora. Uh, this one's just been feeding so it's just a little bit tucked up here's the Indo Gold uh, in the bottom of the shot here at the moment then the Holy Grail and uh, there is the Hellfire torch as well. But you can see here, you can actually see uh, live in action. Uh, you can see one of the polyps stinging uh, the red uh, Goniopora garden there as well. And that's why I need to uh, cut them, give them a little trim and cut them back. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully everything goes to plan. And... Uh, Everything then can be surviving without killing. I don't think they realise how much a buddy pay for each one of these. Can't be killing each other. So we're going to have a, a mega fragging session. Right, let's crack on. I'm getting some really nice colours at the moment. And I think that's just due, due to I've got the feeding routine uh, working really well. So I'll dose... Uh, oh, just not the camera. Sorry, guys. I dose uh, Red Sea Iodine uh, 1 mil every 7 days. And that just goes into the rear chamber. I also dose about three or four drops of the Reef Elements Manganese. Again, this is all going into the rear chamber. Just measure it out using a little cup. Uh, I'm also dosing some Reef Mud. Uh, oh, that's a bit, it's a bit close. Uh, reef Mud, uh, around about a pea size of Reef Mud every two to three weeks. Uh, I've always, always dosed uh, our Eco Balance Dr. Tim's bacteria. Uh, and I put that in quite regular, every four days, every five days, just a few drops of that just goes into the reef. And then, more recently, I've been buying these guys from uh, Reef Phyto. I really like this company, actually. Really, really great company. Uh, and they produce natural reef foods and uh, goodies. So, the first one uh, I've started using in the last couple of months is this Reef Juice. Um, a new blend of phytoplankton which boosts your excellent values of your reef aquarium. Contains Tetramelisis Pavlo... Pavlo? I thought that was a blooming dessert. Uh, why... why I'm, I'm killing this. Right. Just go on the website. You can see. Maybe you can read it yourself. There you go. Maybe you can see. Uh, one mil every 18 litres and then you store it in a fridge. So we're going to get a bit of that in uh, now. Let's pop a bit in. There we go. Just a few, a few drops. Put that in every every day or two. But yeah, if you give it a <laughs> if you give it a sniff, it smells identical to the sea. If you ever want to smell the sea, just buy that and give it a good sniff. It smells well good. Uh, the other thing is as well, we've got our zooplankton here, live zooplankton, uh, combination of live copepods, rotifers, uh, cultured in the UK, and it says remove, remove the caps and pour it into your aquarium. Now, I don't know if this is going to come out on camera, but have a little look at the activity in there. Absolutely superb. Um, so I think for the two of these, it cost me about £20, uh, but again... Um, Sometimes it's the stuff you don't see in your aquarium that's uh, that's just as important for the health of it. But yeah, um, so we'll get this in there and uh, hopefully the fish don't eat them all. Take the lid off. I am going to purchase a subscription. I'm going to get these every five weeks and top them up into the tank. Make sure it's super, super healthy. So we'll put about half of them in there, a bit more. And then we'll put the other half in the back. Now the fish will probably start to go absolutely wild in a minute. Pour them in the back. Let's 
give it a little rinse out because there's a few still in there and then there we go but first <laughs> I am putting off fragging these torch corals uh, I did a Triton ICP test uh, this week sent them off and here are the results so like the scores at football will go down here are the unwanted metals uh, no trace, no trace, no trace. That's all really, 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 really good. Uh, let's have a look at the macro elements. We've got sodium there. Uh, calcium is, is, is spot on at 14, 15. Uh, magnesium is ticking over at 30, nearly 1,400. I do like my magnesium to be a little bit higher. Uh, LPS reefs, in particular torch corals, love uh, elevated magnesium. Uh, potassium bromide all in the green there strontium is a little bit high that's the second to last one here strontium uh, and then sulfur is there uh, let's have a look at the other uh, iron iron group is it lithium group sorry yeah lithium uh, lithium is in the right zones there so is nickel and lead Millennium, I can't even say it. Um, sorry, this is not actually on the screen. I'm having to film the screen, but anyway, there's nothing, nothing professional here at Jay's Real Reef. Uh, the iron, iron group, iron group, I think, yeah. Anyway, everything looks all right there, apart from iodine uh, or iodine. Uh, I do dose that. I just said that in the previous part of the video. I do dose, but maybe I need to dose a little bit more. But I've never seen an ICP test where iodine is actually in the green, so it's it's very difficult. Uh, it does get consumed very quickly by corals, so as soon as you put it in, within kind of 12 to 24 hours, it does get consumed uh, on a uh, uh, uptake by the corals for um, their growth. Uh, here's the iron group, the ferrous metals here, everything's all clear with that one. Uh, this one's all good. And then we get to the silicon, or silicates, yeah, that is absolutely in space. And that's probably why I've got a little bit of green air algae, but I'm not worried about that. Algae's part of the ecosystem. But I will uh, just renew the Roafoss, because that removes silicate. So I'll put a little bit in, not too much, because I don't want to crash the tank. Just a half a teaspoon, not much at all, just into the rear chamber, get that sorted out. And then the nutrients look quite healthy, look. Um, there's phosphates. Uh, phosphorus and phosphates uh, lower end but they're in the green zone so there we have it the Triton ICP test uh, completed so the time has come to frag my beloved torch collection and on that note we've purchased a few more bits here are some god horrible frag plugs I'm sure in the same opinion as me if you're in this hobby god they're horrible aren't they frag plugs but, but anyway some frag clubs. I've got some that's been soaking, that's why these have been open. So I've got some that's been soaking for about three weeks in uh, reef water. Just aquarium water, that's it. I'm a bit worried actually that these are going to be a bit too small, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, for every frag coral, you need a frag rack. I've purchased a frag rack from aquaprint.co.uk. Uh, I have put a link in the description and we'll see what this looks like. So let's get into the box and look at the uh, new frag rack. So here we are, aquaprint.co.uk, they, they have so much uh, aquarium products, 3D printed. Uh, I met them at, uh, no, Love to Reef uh, last year, uh, and ever since then, I bought my uh, previous frag rack from there, and here is the new one. So let's have a little look uh, and how we're getting on with this. So it's nicely bubble wrapped, uh, it's come with a uh, sealed bag. Here it is. Oh, there you go. Aquaprint designed by Reefer for Reefers. Yeah, nice little touch. And that's what you want really, isn't it? You want the people making your products to be the people that know what they're doing. Oh, I've got a sticker. Oh, thanks, guys. I'll tell you what I really liked, actually. When it was printing, I got a little picture uh, of my frag rack being printed. So you get like that update of the journey uh, of your kit being produced which I thought was a really, really nice touch. But yeah, my Aquaprint sticker. And here is the Slimline Frag Rack. So let's take a look. This is the first time I've seen this. So we've got two sets of magnets there. Better not put that too close to my phone. Uh, and we've got the, the Frag Rack. So 
and just slot that in there I guess oh, that's how it goes so that slots in there you've then got a nice little grip there for your for your frags perfect little size for my little red C Max Nano and I've got one two three four five six seven slots and that'll connect on the outside yeah I'm chuffed to bits with that really really happy uh, I can't remember exactly how much it cost, about £25, £20, £25, something along those lines. Uh, let me just check my frag plugs. Oh, they fit in absolute like a glove. Perfect. They fit in perfect. So, frag rack ready. Uh, just something now to cut the corals up with. So, one way to frag your torch corals is to use reef cutters at the base of your torch and then slowly just ease the pressure on and break it away um, and then separate the, the torch frag but there's no way that Jay's Real Reef is going to go down that way. If you've watched my previous video I nearly killed the torch when it arrived uh, that was my holy grail so I've gone for something a little bit more industrious. <laughs> Here it is the Dremel 3000 power tool uh, I don't know. I don't know if it can be classed as a power tool. To me, this is a power tool because I don't really use tools, as you can probably imagine. Uh, it's the multi-speed, multi-head coral fragging machine. So I bought the Dremel. We'll get that out in a second. Uh, along with that was about thirty-five pounds sterling. Uh, along with that, we've got the diamond cutting blade. Now this blade alone cost me twenty pound, and I haven't checked if it fits this, but it better do. Uh, I assume they all fit each Dremel, but we'll go with that. So, let's have a look at the Dremel, all fired up. <laughs> the Dremel 3000. Now, I can see the, qu the corals are looking a bit nervous. At me just eyeing up the Dremel 3000. But we'll see what's going on here. We've got various different heads to put on. Which one do I need? Has it got one on already? <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. Maybe I should read the instructions. Back in a minute. It's time for the mega torch fragging session. Uh, this is my first go at fragging. Let's see how easy it is. It doesn't look easy, but we'll see how we get on. So what have we got? Three lots of the tank water. That's 25 and a half degrees, roughly. I've taken it directly from the tank, so it's the same water the torches are going to be fragged in as it is in the tank, so that's really good for me. Uh, I've topped up the tank water with uh, some spare salt water that I had, so it's not uh, affected the salinity. We've also got some Tunzi coral gum. I'm going to use this to attach it to the frag plugs um, because most people who come and collect the corals will be able to then just easily take it off the plug and put it on there on their aquascape and it allows you to move it around once it's there it's not as, as fixed as, as the reef glue and it adds that flexibility it's just a two part resin uh, of red on one side and then white on the other it works really well so I'm going to be using that stuff that's what I've used for all my torches so far uh, in this first bath here we're going to run a little bit of reef dip by Seachem uh, this is just coral disinfectant it's basically an iodine dip and it just helps with healing so we're going to put a few drops of that in bath number one not too much steady away oh that's quite a bit well hopefully that'll be all right that should just help with the healing process so put that into there give it a little mix up and then we've just got two uh, salt water dips to clean off the iodine before they go back into uh, the tank uh, got a little toothbrush, so I'm going to give them a little brush down in this one, make sure everything's okay. Uh, give them a brush down in the in the second bath, and then get them all fragged up. Got my glasses ready, so I'm going to put these on, ready to go. So, without further ado, let's start with the Indo Gold Torch. So here is the first one, this is an Indo Gold. Uh, doesn't look gold at the moment because it's just under white lights, but we've got... Really nice skeleton structure, plenty of white skeleton there. Uh, so we're going to frag this into two separate heads. So I think just by looking at it, we're going to go for a cut down here and then I'll separate these two separate heads here. But it looks super, super healthy. 
Right, so we've just cut our first piece. I've had to change the blade because the blooming blade that I bought doesn't fit. So I was just checking that this one does, and it does, so uh, we're all right there. Right, let's have a little look at cutting this next little bit then to make a frag. Let's try and, it's so fiddly getting in here. Let's try and cut this bit. There we go. So we've now got some nice little frag pieces. Uh, I just need to trim them down, but it's getting really fiddly now to get them cut down without having uh, my fingers cut off, basically. So let's let's just chop. I'm just going to get this one down a bit further from where I've cut it. I'm going to cut cut round this bit here. I don't know how much of this you're seeing, guys. I am sorry, but I'm just uh, a bit nervous here now. So here's one that's just been on the frag plug, looking super, super healthy. Um, just with a little bit of putty around the edge, it's nice and secure. And then the uh, the lucky person to buy this in the future, uh, you can just carefully break it off and uh, put it onto your skate. It'll just peel off around there. Perfect. Let's get it on the frag rack. This dragon sole is an absolute beauty. I got it from... Kingdom of Corals, really large, look at them thick polyps, really large thick polyps. I bought it for 200, is it 200, 300, 200 or 250 uh, for one polyp and now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 heads since it's been in here and this is the one that's really causing the damage to the, uh, to the Raja Rampage. So I've got to think about which ones I'm going to go with here. Um, and then try and get it back onto the reef. Right, let's give it give it a bit of a haircut. Here we go. Here's the dragon soul. Oh God, so nervous. this job I hate this job I'll be glad when it's done right that is a really good size frag isn't it right so that's where I've cut that one off so I think I'm gonna keep this bit let's have a look yeah I'm gonna keep this bit here that's gonna be my bit and then we'll frag this I think so let's get that into there Still looks super healthy, guys. It really does. This is such a lovely torch coral. So this is the one I'm going to keep. Bob that. In fact, we'll bob that in there. I mean, it's still happy even in the uh, even in the tubs, isn't it? Right. Let's get cutting this one up into two big heads. All right. What's the best way to? Oh, this one's going to be tricky. This is going to be very tricky. Right, let's cut this bit off first here. Right, that's a bit of skeleton that we don't need. Get rid of that. So I'm just going to run a little bit more reef spec carbon. Uh, just half a teaspoon, not going to go mad, just put a tiny bit more in the media basket at the back just to clear out any toxins in the water that might be released by the stressed corals. So two, three hours later and these are the torches settling nicely on the rack. So if we go on this side here, I'll start with this one. These are Indo Golds. So they've got a purple mouth area into gold uh, like tentacles and then they've got bright baby blue at, uh, at the end of the tips you're getting that, oh there's the there's the Blenny as well doing a little bit of glass cleaning I think such a cool fish he is anyway back to the torches so originally I got this one from Signature Frags uh, it's grown out really really nicely you can get to see the gold a bit there as well grown out really really nicely 
Uh, I paid £200 for one head. Uh, here we've got two kind of small heads, but it's a lovely, lovely torch coral. Next to that, we've got this one here. It's getting really nice. This is the um, Hellfire. So you've got a green mouth right in the centre. You've got the gold and you've got the purples and the mint tips. It's a really colourful torch. And lots and lots of like baby blue colours as well that come out when it gets enough light. So that's that's that one. That's a double head. Quite a, a reasonable size that one to be fair. Two heads there and there. And then along to these ones that have really settled in well to their new environment is the dragon soul. I absolutely love a dragon soul. So you've got a single head on the right hand side. Look at deep purples into golds and then they got green tips. But really, these got like really fat, large tentacles compared to these ones that are a little bit slimmer. Uh, and then this one here is a beautiful uh, double headed uh, dragon soul here at this end. You've got that there, golds and purples and they just look absolutely super. Really settling into life already on the uh, frag rack. So if you're in the market for some aquacultured torch corals, and you got similar parameters to me. So salinity is 1.026, alkalinity is 8.2 dKH, magnesium is around 1400, calcium is at 420 ppm, nitrates around about 5 ppm, and uh, phosphates around about 0 0.03. Then you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. I use Tropic Marine Pro Reef Salt, so that would also help I suppose a little bit if you've got a similar salt brand that might help as well. I thoroughly enjoyed making today's video hopefully you've enjoyed watching too something a little bit different we've never had a fragging session here on the channel and I wanted to have a go myself and see how I got on and I, you know what I've got the bug even more so now something like this just gets you even more addicted to the hobby just watching your corals grow out for two three years and then kind of divide it up into your frags and then having your little frag rack. I can see why people have frag tanks and even even bigger going to you know coral farming. It's just so rewarding. I really enjoyed making it. So maybe more videos are coming your way. Speaking of videos, I have got plans to make a new video on the maturity of nano reef tanks. You don't want to miss that one if you've got a little nano reef. And then we're also going to be heading out to Love to Reef. 2023 20th of May it's about four weeks away we're going to take you along with us we're going to go and visit uh, the Love to Reef event listen to the keynote speakers uh, look at all the vendors that are going to be there and catching up with you guys who watch the channel uh, and seeing what's all about and all the all the buzz of the Love to Reef event so if you're in the in the mood for watching more content uh, make sure you follow the channel if you haven't subscribed yeah, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you don't miss a thing. If you've enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate that. You can hit us up in the comments. Anything that you've enjoyed, any questions that you've got, anything you think I've done wrong with the, you know, with the Dremel or fragging the corals, uh, you know, advice is really helpful to me as well. Or you may be in the market to buy a torch. Uh, if you live in the Midlands area, then yeah, hit me up in the comments. You can do that as well. To stay updated, uh, check out Instagram. I'll be giving uh, an update on the torches every three to four days. I'll post some videos and pictures on Instagram, see how things are getting on with the torches there. Uh, but if you want some more reefing, lighthearted goodness in your life, Friday night live streams, 8 p.m. till 10 GMT time. Uh, that's with myself, Fish Palace, Mogs Aquarium, and the Bearded Reef. Uh, yeah, join in the chat, have a bit of fun on a Friday night. I'm going to leave it there. If you're still watching now, you've done damn good. So I really appreciate that. Hopefully your reef tanks are all going well and you're, lo you're loving the hobby just as much as we are here. But for now, everybody, I'm going to say bye-bye. I uh, hope to see you in the next one.